All right. In a recent video, I talked about whoop setup for Betaflight 4.3, and we went through some settings there. I mentioned in that video that the quality of the whoop and the weight of the whoop matters really more than any settings that you can implement in the firmware. We specifically did the whoop setup on this quad, which is the Esheen US65. Good budget whoop, very durable, no mechanical issues. This is a great entry level 2S whoop for about 96 bucks. But I also talked about this whoop, which is the B-Brain brushless whoop, and it's about $140. So that's about a 37% increase in cost. So the big question is, is it worth it? That almost 40% more cost, is it worth it in the flight characteristics and the flight performance? Well, today we're gonna to take a look at that. And before we get into it, I just want to kind of take a look at the weights. So what we're going to be doing is this whoop itself. So that is, you can see around 20 grams and the battery is about uh, eight grams. So together, let me tear this again just to make sure. Yep. So together, we're talking about 28 grams right there. Now this is a 2S whoop. So we're talking here, this is about 18 grams. So just to compare weight, it's actually 20 grams there. So let's, uh, Look at that, tear it again. So this is 20 grams and this is, uh, yeah, about 18 to 20 grams. Depends. My scale, I think, goes up and down a little bit. It's real. Yeah, that's definitely 20. That's 22. So they're about the same weight, which is kind of surprising. Now with these and the batteries, you're looking about 38 grams. So with batteries, 38 grams with this, because it's just a 1S, 28 grams. So it's about 10 grams less. And that's really just a combination of that. A little bit, there's about maybe two grams more on this. Seems like scale's uh, struggling there a little bit on the Esheen. And then uh, the battery weight, the extra battery weight. Now, taking a look at the Betaflight settings, what I did is this uh, Acro B comes with Betaflight 4.1 on it. I had it over a year now. Uh, it's good, I've been a while. So Betaflight 4.1, it flies so good, I just don't change it. If it's not broke, don't fix it. So I just leave Betaflight 4.1 on it. And they also have a special target, so I have to like go download the target. I don't know, it's just not that much of a priority for me, so I just haven't changed it. So what I did is I'm gonna flash, or I already did flash, Betaflight 4.1 on this one as well. This is the settings on both. I made the Esheen match this. So this is the PID settings you can see here, the rate settings, and then the filter settings, as you can see right there. So they both match. Um, everything that I can see matches. And I went through and made sure everything matched on all the different pages. Now, if you're interested in some other performance tips that nobody really talks about with Whoops, I'm going to have a Patreon video releasing at the same time with this video where we talk about some tips that you've probably not other heard before, some CLI stuff that has to do with the accelerometer and things like that. So if you're interested in that, check out the links below. Now I can see where you might say, well, that's not fair. We know the one is about 10 grams more weight than the other. So you need to compensate for that in your pit adjustment. And I don't disagree, but to some extent, I mean, we're just going to be flying around the basement here. I'm not doing prop wash tests. I'm not doing flips and all kinds of stuff where we're looking at bounce back and prop wash and throbbles and drift and all those things you're really throwing at a five inch. For a whoop, it's pretty straightforward, at least for what I do with them. It's more just racing around uh, small gaps and things like that. So let's get into it. All right, I'm going to start off here with the B-Brain, just because it will be my first pack and obviously be warmed up a little bit more after this one. So let me just, uh, probably not going to chat all that much, but take a look at the cornering um, and just how this flies in general, the smoothness, and then you can compare that against the other one and see how it makes a difference. Um, so as I get faster here, I have to zip it.
So, um, you know, we have that just 10, pound, 10 grams less between the two, but you can kind of see how this is flying, at least for me. And let's, uh, with that, get on the other one. I think I'm scrolling up here. But, uh, So you can definitely see a difference Echo here mode. Mode. in the camera. Engines on. And you can hear it in the motors. So uh, here we go. It's just uh, so much harder to handle comparatively. Let me uh, zip it up here and do my best. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah. Ah, see it just carries uh, in the corners. And the elevation control is so much harder. Come on, you. Come on. Come on. can see the difference and this what prompted me to do this video is doing that setup on this and I was flying it around a bunch and I was like oh yeah I'll bust out the old movie drone and man just right off the bat I was like wow it's so much easier to fly um, And it has nothing to do with any of the settings, or the pig tune, or the rates. It's all the same. It's just that 10 grams makes a difference. And and what else? I mean, it's about the same size, so it's really the 10 grams for me. And maybe even just being a 1S, you know, less is more.
Come on now. You suck. And I'll stop it there on this one. So yeah, hopefully you can see the difference between something like a Isheen US65 versus something like the B-Brain and that 40% additional cost, which is not that much cost difference in the, in the long run for something that you're really gonna enjoy, I think it's well worth it. The 1S capability, I think, is probably where it's at more than anything um, versus running something that's a little heavier with a 2S uh, that's made for 2S. And you could say, well, you could just run this in 1S configuration and yeah, maybe kind of, but these are 1400 kV motors. These are 1800 kV motors. So it's not gonna exactly work out to be the same. This is gonna be under motored uh, at 1S. Um, you know, it's, it's really made for 2S. But that will do it for this video. Hopefully I was helpful. And I will drop some links below for this whoop and any other whoops that I see that I like this 1S uh, brushless style. But in conclusion, whether you're racing or just flying around for fun, I definitely recommend uh, checking out some quality, uh, lightweight whoopage uh, to increase your enjoyment. You know, flying around even just for fun and crashing all the time because the thing's, you know, heavy in the heavy in the butt or whatever it is versus zooming around is a heck of a lot more fun to just zoom around. With that, appreciate your time and I hope this helped.